Many people are interested in working remotely because it seems like a good way to have more control over their work schedule and save time by avoiding commuting to a physical office and dealing with traffic. The idea of remote work has become very popular in our interconnected world. It allows employees to work from their own spaces and manage their tasks with flexibility. Sometimes, people may have a need to work remotely in a secretive manner. If you are unable to disclose personal circumstances or unique situations that may affect your professionalism and productivity or have another job, you need to be private as you have a corporate job. I have been secretly working remotely from Monterey, Mexico, while working a job from the United States. In this video, I will explain why I chose to work remote as well as the things that I consider in order to keep my secret a secret. The first thing you should first think about is why you are secretly working remotely. Now, in my case, because the cost of living is quite low in Mexico, I work remotely in order to save a lot of money. It can be pricey to commute. Travel expenses, parking fees, meals, coffee breaks, birthday cakes, gifts for co-workers, work attire, and on and on it goes. These costs costs, which can build up, are reduced while working remotely. This increases the amount of disposable cash that may be used for other purposes, such as investing, which is always beneficial. Imagine a life where you have the freedom to retire early and live life on your own terms. No more being tied down to a corporate job for the rest of your days. Instead, invest in yourself and build a financial foundation that allows you to relax and truly savor the joys of life. Another reason why you should consider working remotely is the idea of working in an extremely comfortable environment. You have the freedom to arrange your office or workspace according to your preferences. You don't need to be concerned about your colleagues complaining if you are untidy. If you are a person who likes to keep things tidy in the office, you can concentrate on organizing your own workspace. Some individuals find that they are able to be more productive when they are in a familiar and comfortable setting. If you work remotely or as a freelancer from your home, you have the freedom to arrange your desk in any way you prefer. You can also choose to close the door for privacy, and if listening to music boosts your creativity, you can do that too. Another reason why you could consider this is the ability to work from any location. Individuals are not obligated to live in a city that does not meet their standards or preferences, which also helps them avoid unnecessary travel. If one spouse needs to be in a specific location, remote working enables the other partner to maintain their job or make the transition easier. Working remotely allows you to work from any location, whether it be a mountaintop or a seaside area. You can work from any location in the world as long as you have a good internet connection. Now that we established the why, let's establish the how. How can you work remote secretly? One of the the best ways to work remotely is with the help of a VPN. A VPN, or virtual private network, is a service that encrypts and anonymizes your internet connection, keeping your online activity hidden. This refers to the ability to conceal your location when connecting to the internet, enabling you to access content that might be restricted in your country or region. It allows you to conceal your IP address, which is how websites determine your location. This can be very useful when trying to prevent censorship or surveillance by your own corporate job. These entities track our online activities using cookies browser fingerprinting, and cookies from third-party content providers like advertisers. A VPN gives the appearance of being in your hometown while you are in Mexico. Imagine it as a secure pathway between you and the websites you access. If you want to prevent someone, such as your boss, from knowing your location, you should change the number that is publicly displayed. I signed in to a client server once and they immediately saw that I was in Mexico. I was fortunate enough to be able to explain in a way that looked like I was on a vacation with my family. But a virtual private network, VPN, is absolutely absolutely essential in this situation. However, some employers prohibit the use of VPNs on laptops, so you may need to find an alternative and more lucrative VPN solution. Another thing to also take note of is to make it a point not to add any of your employees on social media in order to preserve your ability to talk about Mexico openly and without inhibition. Also, make sure you don't lose contact with your homeland. Another thing is having to make up stories to my coworkers when they ask questions about how my breaks or weekend was. I know I can't tell them I've been working remote, so the best thing is to come up with the perfect story. You could tell them you went to visit a new restaurant around or went to see a relative, something that wouldn't give them an idea of what you have really been doing. Also, since I haven't lived in my work town for over three years now, I am starting to forget major roads and famous restaurants, so I try to make it a habit to stay in the loop to give it the appearance that I still know my way around town. Take into consideration the time zone you are in. If the time zone in which you work is different from that of your employer, it is imperative that you pay careful attention to the hours that you are scheduled to work. You should make every effort to be reachable during your typical working hours, even if it means staying late or getting up early. Another thing is being able to maintain consistent lines of communication with both your co-workers and your manager. Try to maintain communication with your co-workers and management regarding the status of your job, and do not forget to inform them if you will be absent for any period of time. This can help to dispel any concerns that the company may have regarding the possibility that you are working remotely without their knowledge. You and your manager should agree on a schedule for regular 
regular check-ins. It may be a meeting once a week. It could be a stand-up meeting every day, or it could be something in between. The most important thing is to maintain a consistent cadence of communication with your manager so that he or she is aware of what you are working on and can provide direction and assistance, and to also give an idea that you are serious with your work. This helps distract them from the fact that you might be working remotely secretly. You also have to keep your co-workers and manager apprised of your progress at all times and to keep them informed of any shifts in plans or difficulties that may arise. You don't have to do too much or too little. Just do your work well to avoid giving them the idea that you have something else going on. Always respond quickly to communications and requests. Be careful to give a fast response to everyone who tries to get in touch with you. This enables others to create trust in you by indicating that you are engaged in the conversation and are available to participate in it. Always keep the lines of communication open regarding your availability. If you are going to be absent from work for an extended period of time, you should let your co-workers and management know in advance, and you should also ask them to do the same. They will be able to plan correctly and steer clear of any misunderstandings as a result of this information. Working in a different country gives you the opportunity to learn about different cultures, socialize with new people, and broaden your perspective. Nevertheless, if you do not exercise proper caution, it might also turn out to be a perilous proposition. If your company finds out that you have been working without their knowledge in another country, you run the risk of being fired or possibly being sued. If you are considering working without the knowledge of your company in another country, it is imperative that you take the necessary safety precautions. Working overseas without your employer being aware of it is a risky endeavor, but it's not impossible, provided you take the necessary precautions. However, keep in mind that there is no assurance that you won't get caught, and you should prepare for the possibility of doing so. Should your employer discover the information, you may be subject to severe repercussions, including being fired or even being sued. Before settling on a choice regarding whether or not to work overseas without your employer's knowledge, it is essential to give thorough consideration to both the potential downsides and upsides of such an endeavor. Once again, it isn't impossible as long as you take the right measures and steps. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. Make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for more useful tips and to follow my journey on financial independence while secretly working in Mexico.